Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today we want to show you how to connect a 5.6 watt endurance laser to a one how duplicator 3D printer. So uh, first of all we uh, want to show you how to connect it. So we actually have a special mount for a 3D printer and uh, it's, it will go and will replace the fan that is connected and that's one we use to cool, uh, to chill um, the, the plastic while it goes out from extruder. So uh, right now we're going to, yeah, you can see it over here. So we are going to remove it a bit uh, later. So right now we take this piece of, uh, we take the, our laser. Yeah, you can see it's it's not painted, and uh, the aluminum uh, piece. So we already made four uh, spots in it, and now we are going to screw it with a screwdriver. Okay, so th it will be our our mount for 3D printer. So it's not difficult to make. You can make it by yourself or uh, when you order it from us, you can ask so we can make a custom, customized uh, part connected to you. So uh, it's over here. So what is inside uh, electronics? Chinese guys, they actually use a standard MOSFET that has 30 volts uh, and about 18 amps. 18. 13. 13. Yeah, sorry. 13 amps. So uh, it should be enough power to connect it to the fan. So you can see that uh, the fan is here and uh, you see it's pretty standardized. Okay, let's connect. Uh, so you, you, you can see it here, the, the heater, so it's actually pretty, pretty powerful. And so this is a connector to fan, so you can see it here. So we use fan output to control and to operate the laser. So uh, in some cases you don't need any additional uh, PC board. So you can see this, these uh, wires are here. You have it uh, red is plus and uh, black is minus. So uh, we unplug it, um, the fan, and we're going to remove the fan from the extruder because like I said we don't need it. it it's, it's very very easy to unmount. It takes about like 20-30 seconds to do it. Okay. And then we will be able to put our laser over here. Okay, so we put it here, the fan, so we don't need it. And let's mount our laser. So it's, it's really, really easy to make. Some consider that connecting laser takes like hours to do. No, it does not. It's really, really fast process if you watch this video and share it with your friends. Uh, like two screws would be enough. Okay, and it's pretty stable. As you can see, it's, it's very strong. So these wires, uh, we actually move it from here and we're going to connect. Like I said, be aware that red is plus, black is minus. Here we have two white wires, but we have special uh, signs on it, so don't, don't miss it, otherwise you'll burn the laser. So now it's connected, well connected. Okay, so what are we gonna do next? We're gonna turn on the Van Howe 3D printer and we're going to uh, to find the focus. So it's very important to find the focus of the laser, otherwise you will not have the true real power output. So, okay, yeah, so when we're going to, to show you how to focus the laser, we will uh, change a fan speed 
the fan speed we put it like 25 so it's it's very little and now you can see uh, that it blinks uh, we'll do it like this so you can see it in a different uh, variations okay we actually use a piece of uh, anodized aluminum uh, you can also use painted aluminum so that you'll be able to find uh, the focus of the laser so uh, now we're going to change um, the speed to zero okay okay we're unmounted this SD card and we're going to um, show you how to run a G code so to run G code on 3d printer you need to connect it to your computer so you'll be able to upload on SD card uh, a G code so while Boris is doing this I'm going to explain you once again about finding a focus so as soon as you uh, run a fan on minimum output like 25% just make sure that uh, you put on goggles you, you can see our other guidance where we showed that you just need a minimum dot minimum dot and uh, means that you are always in focus so Boris is actually uh, run in software called Inkscape Inkscape is a free open source software uh, so we're going to take uh, raster image bitmap uh, okay so we import a bitmap let's take this dove but is we can take this yes we can yeah we can take an image like this so it's ready yeah I like Twitter you guys like Twitter <coughs> now we use a plugin we are you can actually change uh, size of this of this icon Let's make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, this one is, is good enough. Okay. Yeah, I like this bird. Let's make some tweets. So now we're going to convert uh, from vector from yeah from bitmap raster into vector image. Uh, we'll outline. Yeah, you can see we outline it. Yeah, we can we can run and suddenly we got two images yeah we'll remove this one it's a previous bitmap image and this one is vector image second step we are going to convert it into g-code so one how does not work with raster or vector it needs g-code to convert a g-code you can use our plugin it called endurance lasers you can find it in our download center on our website endurancerowlets.com and go to download center download it and uh, upload it to your Inkscape catalog so here is just the basic parameters that we use you can watch a video and to find out more so it's very important to, to get a clear G code you need pr different parameters M106 and M107 to turn on and turn off the laser okay as you can see here uh, we set up new parameters Yeah, well, some you can learn more about uh, how to use this plugin. It's not a big deal. Okay, as soon as we're ready to convert it into a G code, we'll be all ready to upload it to our 3D printer. So we call it Dove something like that I don't see what Boris is actually typing ah, okay let's convert it and you'll see a third image it's not really an image it's a G code but you can see it as a red uh, as a red image okay now you can see it. it looks like this well you can do whatever you like you can uh, improve you can do other things now we're going to save it on our SD card 
Let's save it. Okay. So as soon as we save it, we'll insert and show you an engraving process. Okay. So ready. So we take a SD card and insert it into one how 3D printer. Now we'll go to SD card and then uh, print a file. Probably we need to mount first. Yes, we mount a card first. Yeah, mount a card. And now we go to print a file. And let's find our file. So, yeah, this one. Okay, let's start. And you can see the engraving process started. So you can probably see it from another direction, like this, getting small. Right. So as you can see, you can do it really, really easy, easily. It doesn't take a lot of time to mount uh, a laser and to make an image using Inkscape. So uh, we couldn't probably explain everything, but it's uh, just main things that we could insert into small video footage. Hope that you like this video. Please subscribe on our channel and share it with your friends and visit our website endurancerobots.com or endurancelasers.com and have a wonderful engraving and enjoy. Bye bye.